My name is Linda Boyden and I'm an author illustrator and this is today I'm going to read Pow Wow's Coming, my first book that I illustrated. Uh, but when a lot of young people think of the word illustrate, they, they always think of painting. But I didn't make my pictures by painting. I made my pictures out of cut paper and I use a lot of variety of papers and other things to make my stories. So this one is Pow Wow's Coming. Oh, and that's another thing. There are a lot of young people who do not know what a powwow is, but this book will help you get a picture of what the Native American custom is, of powwow is. So uh, this is a poem that I did not write, but a friend of mine did, and she gave it, to, gifted it to me for um, for the intro to my book, and it's called Why We Dance. To dance is to pray. To pray is to heal. To heal is to give. To give is to live. To live is to dance. And at a powwow, there's a lot of dancing. So here we go. Powwow's coming. Hear the beat. Pow wow's coming, dancing feet. Pow wow's coming, hear the drum. And this is a big floor drum. And these men sit around and they are giving the beat for the dancers to dance with. Pow wow's coming, everyone. But besides dancing, before a powwow begins, there's a lot of work. And so now we're going to learn about this. Build the booths and vendor stalls. Sort the wares and stack them tall. Many hands, the work goes fast. Powwow time is here at last. Powwows started long ago, but dances change, powwows grow. Did you notice something about what book the grandma in this picture is reading? Yeah, magic. <laughs> Still today, the steps and songs bless the dancers, make them strong. Now, there are small powwows and there are great big powwows. So listen to this. At powwows far away from here, people travel every year. Hundreds watch the dancers try to do their best to win a prize. And like this is a specific type of dance, very powerful dance. <laughs> and some of the prizes are, involve a lot of money. Often powwows can be small. We work together one and all for graduations, birthdays too, and when families visit, just like you. Burning sage. Sage is a, this bundle of dried plants, a special plant called sage, and grown ups set it on fire and the smoke comes up and they smudge the air. Burning sage fills the air. Dancers, workers, smudge with care. So they take the smoke and put it over them. That's called smudging. Braids are tightened, laces tied, elders nod with smiles and pride. And there are a lot of different styles of powwow dancing. Again, we're going to talk about fringe on shawls, sway and swings, jingle dresses, chime and ring grass dancers step and prance to the rhythm of the dance. And these are very special dancers from Mexico, from the Aztec people, and their regalia uh, is all in gold, gold tinge. Shoppers look in vendor stalls, flutes and feathers, masks and dolls, 
fry bread taco, venison stew, lots to see, lots to do. Storytellers spin and weave tales of fun and mystery. And these are all characters, trickster characters from different Native American tribal communities. This is Raven, Rabbit, Jitsu is the Cherokee trickster, and this is from the Lakota people. In the game booth, try to win at Hubbub's Toss or Ring and Pin. But the sun slips low to the west. Dancers, workers did their best. Giveaways and grateful hands, friendships made from many lands. Powwow's ending, slow the beat. Powwow's ending, tired feet. Powwow's ending, silent drum. Powwow smiles on everyone, except the little baby. She fell asleep. She was so tired. <laughs> And that's the end of the story, but there is, I want to show you the last page. This is called The Back Matter of, of um, a book. And in it, I have information on what a powwow is, how to behave at a powwow, um, games made, Native American games, and how to play them. And so that is good information to have, too. So you can have more fun at home. But thank you very much for listening.